Okay, this is what you're going to need to level out your tripod and get it set up here in your observing site. Beer is optional, highly recommend it. Um, you need your bolt level, your um, Sharpie, a tape measure, and just a white um, just paint marker. And, uh, and I'll show you what we're going to do with these. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tape measure here and we're going to set the tripod up. Tape measure strung out here. We're going to set the tripod up. We're going to set each leg up. I got this one set to right at 10 inches. And I just use that, that little casted ring on there that the, the lower um, leg tightening screw screws into. I just use that as a reference just because the tape measure sits right up against it nice. I can get a pretty good little measurement. So as you can see as we do all three of these, we're sitting right there 10 inches on each leg. That's just a rough start. Um, to get the, the tripod pretty close. Okay, now, now we got our legs 10 inches long. Um, the reason for that is, as you can see, it's about waist level. Um, so when, by the time you get your, your scope and everything, if you got an eight inch scope, you know, you probably wanna go about 12 inches. Six inch scope, you maybe wanna go 14 or so. I'm, I'm right at six foot tall, so, you know, th this is, um, a good height. Um, I found out last weekend when I brought the scope out and set it all up that um, when I had the leg set to 12 inches tall that the scope actually the, the focuser and everything was kind of right up above um, where I wanted it to be by the time I got the, the scope turned and al aligned, excuse me, aligned to everything. Um, so I brought it down two inches to kind of help with that and um, and everything so I figured that's that's kind of what I'm showing you <clears throat> is this thing's really low when you got the, the legs all the way sucked in not only that it starts getting a little teetery a little unstable um, when you got the, the legs all the way down and you get this thing kind of twisted all the way around and you're looking almost straight up into the sky with it it gets a little little light um, so to speak so you definitely want to get at least about six to eight inches on the, the extensions for the, the tripod legs to kind of help balance it out. And we've got our our leg holders. Um, we got it in place, got it nice, good and tight, snugged in. Um, I didn't take the head off um, of the mount to level it out. And I'm gonna show you that real quick on what we did. When we come over here, we get our little ball level. I'm gonna swallow a beer. And what you want to do when you get this thing set up out here is you want to just put the ball level in the bottom against the bottom of the base and against the adjusting screw. And you can see um, just, you know, some nice flat surfaces. And you can see we're pretty much dead end level there. You want to do it across all three sides, right in level there and then again you gotta come all the way around here you know you want to go across here and make sure your your bottom of your your mount you can see it's a pretty good little flat area the machining should be level between the top and the bottom I don't see any difference between taking the head off, measuring the top flat surface versus measuring the bottom flat surface. So you can see we're pretty much, you know, across all three sides, we're leveled up good. You can move this thing in and out, wherever you want to go. We're nice, good, and level. So that's what you want. Okay, now that our mount, our actual tripod's leveled, the next thing we want to do is get our beer, take another swallow, 
that was the last of it that's always a crying shame but uh put that down now the other thing we want to do is there's a handy dandy app we talk about apps and the world of smartphones and everything else we want to loosen everything up and bring this around to our viewfinding position or polar alignment position lock our our head in up here I'm going to lock this down we're aligned on our marks I showed you how to make so when we turn up uh, looky there see you gotta screw this all the way in otherwise you're gonna hit your right extension housing so now we got that all the way in that doesn't stick out past it and we're still hitting why are we still hitting aha there's the culprit right there I'm gonna keep that just barely snug so it takes a little bit of pressure to move the head otherwise just like you've seen if you got it all the way loose you end up hitting your right declination or your right extension housing so just snug that up a little bit now we can go 360 degrees which is what we want all right now we want to turn it 90 degrees all right I'm sorry I've got too many things going here at once just want to try to line up your two dots a little bit snug that down and we'll go get our bolt level again we're gonna just it's got a little magnet in the base of it so it stays up there we want to level up our head right about there all right now that our head's nice and level the other thing we want to do take our bolt level off just curious i never really stuck that up there to see our head's level so put our handy dandy little bolt level down on a little sidetrack they do sell a light up version of that bolt level this one's magnetic but they do sell a light up version about 20 bucks it's like 18 dollars or 22 bucks or something like that at the hardware store really cool if i had the money i would have bought one considering i'm gonna probably be doing this at night so my battery's getting ready to go dead and i'm gonna get the battery charged up and we'll be back 